an Earth-like planet has been discovered orbiting a dead sun and a white dwarf 4,000 light years away, offering a glimpse into a possible future for our own solar system. Identified by astronomers at UC Berkeley using the Keck telescope in Hawaii, this discovery is more than just another exoplanet find. It shows how planets can survive the violent deaths of their stars. In this video, we'll explore the details of this groundbreaking discovery, why it's so important, and what it reveals about the fate of our own planet. This newly discovered system, dubbed KMT-2020 BLG-0414, is located about 4,000 light years away, near the dense bulge at the center of the Milky Way. It consists of a white dwarf, a remnant of a once vibrant sun-like star, an Earth-sized planet, and a brown dwarf, which is a failed star that didn't have enough mass to ignite nuclear fusion. Detected by the Korea Microlensing Telescope Network in 2020, this system caught astronomers' attention when it magnified a distant star's light by a factor of 1,000, acting as a gravitational lens. When stars like our Sun exhaust their nuclear fuel, they swell into red giants, shedding their outer layers before collapsing into dense, faint white dwarfs. This process unfolded in the system we're examining today. The white dwarf, now about half the mass of the Sun, but significantly smaller, roughly the size of Earth, is orbited by an Earth-sized planet that likely migrated outward during the star's red giant phase. This suggests that as stars expand and lose mass, their gravitational pull weakens, allowing planets to drift into more distant orbits. In this system, the Earth-like planet endured intense heating, radiation, and a close encounter with destruction as its host star expanded ultimately settling into a much colder orbit around the White Dwarf. Our Sun, like all stars of its type, will eventually expand into a red giant in about 5 billion years, drastically altering the inner solar system and likely consuming Mercury and Venus. Earth's fate is uncertain, but it might avoid destruction by migrating outward as the Sun loses mass during this red giant phase. Currently, Earth is expected to remain habitable for about another 1 billion years as the Sun gradually increases in brightness. This increase will cause Earth's oceans to evaporate, making the planet too hot for life long before the Sun even begins its red giant phase. As the Sun expands, it will lose a significant amount of its mass, causing the remaining planets, including Earth, to drift outward. If Earth manages to escape being engulfed by the Sun's outer layers, it could end up in a much larger orbit, similar to the Earth-sized planet found in the recently discovered system. However, in this distant orbit, Earth would likely become a frozen, desolate world, stripped of its atmosphere and water, far from the Sun's remaining warmth. During the Sun's expansion, Earth's surface could also endure extreme heating potentially turning into a scorched, lava-covered landscape before the sun shrinks into a white dwarf. As the sun sheds its outer layers and transitions into this final stage, it will leave behind a white dwarf surrounded by a glowing planetary nebula. According to Kaming Zhang, study leader and postdoctoral fellow at UC San Diego, we do not currently have a consensus on whether Earth could avoid being engulfed by the red giant sun in six billion years. However, there is still a glimmer of hope for life beyond Earth. As the sun's habitable zone moves outward, icy moons like Europa, Ganymede, and Enceladus could warm enough to support liquid oceans, offering potential refugees for future generations far from a dying Earth. Let's expand the discussion. How do planets survive around dying stars? It's not just white dwarfs. Planets have been found orbiting neutron stars and even black holes, environments that seem completely inhospitable. For instance, one of the first exoplanetary systems ever discovered orbits a pulsar, a highly magnetized, rapidly rotating neutron star. 
These planets have withstood supernova explosions and intense radiation, showing that planetary survival can occur under the most extreme conditions. The concept of a habitable zone shifts dramatically when dealing with dying stars. Around white dwarfs, the habitable zone is much closer due to their low energy output. But this proximity exposes planets to intense radiation during the star's earlier phases. Despite these harsh conditions, recent studies suggest that planets in the habitable zone of white dwarfs could still sustain life, albeit in extreme forms. Life might adapt to lower light levels, survive on geothermal energy, or develop deep below the surface to avoid harmful radiation. Also, rogue planets, which drift through space without a host star, could have subsurface oceans warmed by internal heat, providing potential niches for life. Discoveries of life in extreme environments on Earth, from deep sea vents to radioactive areas, support the idea that life could thrive in similarly harsh conditions elsewhere in the universe. Microlensing has revolutionized the discovery of such systems, allowing astronomers to detect planets around faint, distant, or non-luminous objects, like black holes, something that traditional methods like transit or radial velocity techniques struggle to achieve. This technique was crucial in identifying the intriguing white dwarf system we're discussing. When a star or planetary system passes in front of a more distant star, its gravity bends and amplifies the background star's light, acting as a natural magnifying glass that reveals hidden planets and other celestial bodies. White dwarfs, often described as cosmic graveyards, illustrate the fates of planets and asteroids that venture too close. Many white dwarfs exhibit debris disks, disrupted planetary material, or metal-rich atmospheres, clear signatures of destroyed worlds. These remnants provide valuable insights into the evolution of planetary systems after their stars die, showing how some planets manage to survive, albeit in drastically altered states. This information helps us understand the resilience of planets in extreme conditions and the dynamic processes that shape the remnants of once thriving star systems. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the future of our solar system? Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.